So let's first of all dig into the way you think utopia therefore is for crypto. I mean, will central banks and governments just not play a role within what eventually will be money, but in a digital sense? Yeah, I mean, crypto is not a panacea. Uh, it does not bring a utopia. But I think what it does do is finally bring competition into the realm of money. And it allows people to actually innovate in financial systems in a way that has never been able to be done before. So for that reason, it's really important. And even if someone doesn't buy into whether Bitcoin will take over fiat currencies like dollars, most people should at least be interested in the fact that competition is now happening. That's generally seen as a good thing. And will Bitcoin remain the dominant player within this crypto asset, crypto currency space as it is at the moment? Or will we have room for many? Well, it's become an asset class. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin is definitely the biggest. Ethereum is the second biggest. I don't know which one we will be talking about most five or 10 years from now. Um, but the, the important point is just that these things can compete now. And uh, I think it's been really exciting to see all the innovation happening. There are a lot of projects in the space. A lot of them are garbage. <laughs> a lot of them are well-intentioned but will fail. And then some of them are actually going to end up changing the world. Now, this is why the regulators perhaps to a certain extent so we've answered this question before if you've been following the channel and if you're subscribed will bitcoin be number one and it's a standard response no one can tell the future so um like i said uh the best thing you can do is kind of educate yourself and watch market trends um obviously it looked like aol was going to dominate the internet but they're not around yahoo obviously had an edge over google they're not around myspace over facebook so just Understanding the history and studying it, I think, will help you with future decisions you're going to make if you're investing in this space. But the most important thing that I want to highlight is the fact that cryptocurrencies are bringing competition. And it's bringing competition not just to each other, but the banking system, because the banking system has kind of been uncheck. And if you want to study market trends, uh, the GDP, the profitability of banks, have gone up significantly since the 1980s. And if you want to go back to even the 1900s, banks are very, very profitable. And a lot of money has been made from the management of money, moving money around. And there's been nothing really to counter this or to make them reduce their fees and create some sort of competition. So uh, while you're investing in crypto and while you're paying attention, I think that is one of the most important use cases that we need to address about cryptocurrency because um, I just want the currencies to be competitive. I want it to be open and eventually I want it to be low fee so that, uh, you know, it's competitors like banks, credit card companies, money transferring services. Uh, instead of charging 10, 15, 20 percent, they might only have to charge one or two percent, especially with technology. Now that everything's electronic, it's it's affordable and uh, competition is good for the marketplace. And let me know your thoughts about this. And I will talk to you soon.